Lynn Rutley from Experience Guides, and I'm in Toowoomba, Southern Queensland, Australia. I don't know a lot about this city, so I've employed two guides to show me around. Let me introduce you to them. There is Chloe and there is Jessica. They're locals and they're experts on this place. They also happen to be my grandchildren. Welcome to Toowoomba! Toowoomba's Cobb & Co Museum. I've heard about this place. Tell me a bit more about it. Well, Cobb & Co were the main source of transport throughout Australia and they used horses and coaches. They were the greyhound of the 19th century. What a good thing to say. That's <laughs> great. Windmills are used all across Australia and all the different parts. They come in all different sizes, big and small. Just like these here. So that would create a thicker section. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not. It's not a great deal. The museum covers much of Toowoomba's early history. It also has a very nice restaurant. You brought me now. Queen's Park! Botanic Garden! That must look very beautiful. It does. <laughs> We're going to Picnic Point. So this is called Picnic Point, Jess. It is. It is a great place for a picnic. There is also an amazing restaurant, lots of playgrounds, and even a hiking trail. If you'd like it. Yeah. it is a great view, isn't it? The view overlooks towards Brisbane, and that mountain over there is Tabletop, which is a great hiking spot. This should not be missed when in Toowoomba. We also recommend the cafe. Let's now go into the centre of town. Play theatre, it's the main centre for the arts in Toowoomba. What do they play here, Chloe? They play a lot of musicals, dances and bands. And probably the orchestra and other things play here as well. Yeah. Toowoomba has lots of beautiful old buildings that make the city special. This is a very interesting building, Jess. What's it called? This is St Luke's Church in central Toowoomba. It has many religious meetings and gatherings, many musical concerts, and they even provide food for the homeless. Let's go have a look inside. The city is famous for its boarding schools. These are two of the most popular. 
There is also a university with the Japanese garden. Yeah, with the the Japanese, Japanese garden! Friendship with people between Toowoomba in Australia and Takasuki in Japan. The garden is beautiful and very tranquil. And we're at Laurel Bank Park in central Toowoomba. This is a great venue for the Carnival of Flowers. Let's go have a look around. The Carnival of Flowers is a 10 day celebration held each September. We are now going to Highfields, one of the northern suburbs. This is part of an attractive development called the Village Green. Nearby is the Pioneer Village. See the lovely relics from the past in this little patch of Australian history. There are sections covering windmills, transport, ambulances and fire brigade, and a heritage chapel and slab cottage. Also close by is Black Forest Hill. This is the Cuckoo Clock Shop. Oh, that looks really interesting. Outside is a water wheel and an attractive garden cafe. Chloe, that was a really lovely place. It was? It was. Thank you very much for bringing me here. That's okay. Where are we now? <laughs> we are at Danish Flower Art. Besides the flowers, there are peacocks just wandering around. There's a cafe, lots of playgrounds. It's a great place to spend a morning. Attractions here both inside and out. It's beautiful and it's milk and honey. Now it's to Spring Bluff. In the tourist season, a very popular train runs from Toowoomba to here. What else, Jess? You can also go on the hiking trails up through the forest or we'll have a picnic here. It's a great spot. Our final visit is to Kubi Dam. Thanks to my expert local guides, I now know much more about Toowoomba. Toowoomba has one of the best regional shopping centres in Australia, but there are also plenty of independent specialist stores 
some of which are very unusual. There are restaurants and cafes throughout the city offering all types of cuisines at different price points. Likewise with accommodation, the options include large hotels, smaller motels and lodges, backpacker accommodation and Airbnb houses. Toowoomba has something for everyone and I have found it a very friendly city that I will certainly return to again. A bonus is the attractive vineyards in the district and the excellent local wine. If you would like to see more Experience Guides videos and be notified when they appear, please subscribe to our channel.